Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 30 of Building the DeLorean, the Back to the Future DeLorean. Uh, this issue should be things going back to normal. Everything should now be working in the right order without having any problems with missing issues and other things having to be done out of sequence. So, uh, yeah, in this issue, we are fitting pipes, water pipes, water rails. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're fitting pipes and tubes to the bottom of the car. Uh, but before we do that, I'll flick through that. You'll see that in a minute when we actually do the build part. Uh, for now, we're looking at uh, where next for Marty. Uh, Back to the Future sequel. Yeah, they figured it was quite successful, so they did some more. Um, yeah, uh, revenue continued to pour in, so they thought, hey, we can make another one of these. So, yeah, they did. Uh, Back to the Future was released on home video on the 22nd of May 1986. Something was added to the film that gave fans a clue. It said to be continued on it. It didn't do that in the original cinema release, obviously, because they didn't know it was going to work and be successful. So they uh, only added that afterwards. Uh, Einstein, obviously, yes, he featured throughout as, you know, bits of pictures and things, but yeah, why not? They're going to tell you about him. Why not? Uh, next time is the rear chassis plates. That's a nice quick build series. So next time... I shall be showing you something a little bit different as well, um, as well as the actual build of that. It's a, a little a sneak peek about something else, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but now I'll clear the bench, I'll get the car out, we'll fit these tubes and pipes. Right, the tubes and pipes supplied in this issue, it's all plastic, except for obviously the screws. So, uh, yeah, we'll get on with the build and put them on. It just adds a little bit of extra realism and everything to the car. Uh, we are not using the big ones quite yet. Uh, which one are we using? That one is the first one that's going to be fitted. It fits into the radiator. So let's bring the car up. About like that. There we go. Uh, it's going to go to here. That way round. Uh, it fits into the end there. Like that. And that should line up with that hole there. And it, indeed, it does. A JM screw. I don't recall using JM before now. But I, I always like using different screws. It's always nice. Not sure it's strictly needed to be as many different screws as there are in this build. Uh, but as with this and other builds, there's always extra bits. And I don't know. I... If, could you have got away with using a slightly different screw for that? Yes, I'm sure you could, but yeah, why not? There we go. Uh, right, next up, we need to fit one of the longer ones to the underside. So let's turn it over. Those over there, that one here. Let's get it the same way around as it is in the picture, because otherwise I'll get confused. Doesn't take much to get me confused. So there we go. Uh, right, which one is it? I'll pick one up at random and see if it's the right one. It feels like it might be. That's going to have to go there, like that. Um, yeah, and this is going deep underneath here somewhere. In there, like that. And then that lines up with there, there, and there. Looks like a thing. And this end goes down there as well. So yeah, that works, that fits. Uh, we're using FP screws for this. Uh, one, two, and, uh, oh no, an 8M for that one down the bottom there. Ah, yes, because this middle bit is plastic. But the rest of the chassis is metal. Hence the difference between them. Uh, I'll just get out two of these, because I think, although we're going to be doing, obviously, the same on the other side, we're not going to be doing it immediately. Let's get that in there first. One in there, just to hold it in place. Obviously, these have got bend and wobble to them anyway, being plastic, but it's always good practice to not fit things tightly until you know exactly where things are going. Uh, and then it is, I said, an AM screw on this one down the bottom there. Get one out. I like these packets. I like that the fact that they're reusable and, you know, they're resealable. You can get out what you need and then put them back together. But getting the screws out can sometimes, just sometimes, be a little bit of a pain. Uh, right, let's see. That will go into that hole there. It's a stretch to get it to the other one, so I won't, won't bother trying to stretch it to go to the other one. 
get that in there like so and then we'll come back and tighten up these ones that and that and obviously while we're dealing with this on this side we need to turn it over and do some more things the other side I don't know. why would you do that why would you make me turn it over much much more than i need to get that over there uh then it is uh right one of these curvy ones it looks like it's that shape and it's going around here somewhere yes right so that bit goes up and into there and the other end goes down to somewhere else i can't tell not the bit we've just attached because that's up there that oh, is that bit there right yes i thought it might be this this part that we've just attached that to that's going into there a bit like that and then this one they're a bit there uh we're looking for a little peg that it'll fit onto or is it just sort of floating there hmm well with that there it's gonna have to be around there somewhere can't see that it's actually attaching to anything so there might be something else that's going to come on on the other side just to connect it to as indicated uh right i'll have a closer look at that and see exactly where that's going to attach uh i think that will wait for a little while i have got some movement here i think it's just where it's all there but i'll make sure everything is tight and secure on there as well while i've got that there uh but i won't do that yet i don't know i don't really need to do that yet anyway so let's turn it back over uh then we're fitting yeah the other end of this uh which is going to be one of those are they the same no they're not they've got a different angle to them uh so let's see which one do we want feel like that one or does it feel like that one feels more like this one because that's going back to straightening up straightening up all right there's a tube down there that it's connected into right down the end there and that one will go onto the top of that by the looks of it like that uh, an ap screw will hold that together and the other end is secure where it needs to be already i like it when it comes together when things fit together after you know being separate and everything starts to come together that's my favorite part of a build the one screw will just go through there to hold those two tubes together like that uh then there is some stuff on the other side again but i'm going to ignore that i'm going to come back back and to do this side because it makes sense to me to do one side and then go back and do the other so let's get that under there that on there we fix that in place with fp screws again Flipping it over and doing it, you know, one side and then turn it over just to do this other bit and then do the other bit there feels very wrong to me. There's no need to keep constantly turning it over. All the bits you can do on one side. It's not like you couldn't do this when you do the other part because they join up. Well, they don't join up to each other, but it just makes sense to do that. So there we go. That's that on there. Uh, I know I've got to come back and do that bit. But while this is this way up yeah why not we can put that bit in there again that feels like that should join up to something but it doesn't quite yet oh because i haven't fixed the other bit of that on there yet that's okay this is the bit that i'm going to fix that into so we'll put that there and fix that in place with an ap screw 
and we'll fix the other end into the thing when I fix the other thing in. That's all right. I don't mind that. Start in the middle and work our way out to the ends rather than working at the end and then joining up the middle. So we get that in the right general direction. Get that end attached. Like so. Although the other end of that is loose at the moment, we can put it wherever we need to put it once we turn it over. Is there anything else I need to do on this side? No, that's it for this side, right? So we've got that pit still to put on over here, which we're going to do now. So that's the bit that joins up on there. Joined up a little bit better on there in a minute. And this is going to go onto there. That will join up in there. That joins up into the two parts on the fan. And the screw through there, I'll have to flick back to see what screw that's going to mean. It's a JM screw. Through there. That's that. I shall just loosen this off get that to fit better like that uh, and then we've got the two of those to do where's the other end of that oh, that goes there right let's see if that one fits in better i've still got one screw to put over here as well which is the am hold that bit in place but before i put that bit in place i'm going to see about joining up the uh, where this tube's got to go that goes into there and then onto a thing down there so oh, there, i can see the other end of that that's just there and there so yeah that that works for me i can get that on there i can get that on there then when i turn it over i can get that screw through there to hold that in place i like that got that screw ready good to go uh let's have another look at this bit Doesn't feel like it's connecting up to anywhere on this end, but I'm sure it does. But yeah, it's going to go a bit like that and a bit like that. One screw will fit in and then that's done. So I'll leave that like that. I'll finish that off off camera. So it's getting there. I like it. The tubes are all joining up and we're getting some silver to go with the black. It's just a two color thing. Hmm. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I shall see you very shortly for the next part of the build. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.